from here that the nomination convention has reached a deadlock. Wait. Now we'll switch you down to the floor of the convention hall to hear the delegate from California. Laddie is saying we need someone for president everyone trusts and loves. Laddie nominates the international TV star Gumby. It looks like it's unanimous. Yippee! I've always wanted to live in the White House. Oh, maybe I'll meet Abraham Lincoln. Maybe, if you go for ghosts. Man, I don't know a thing about being a president. As your advisor, campaign manager, and ghost writer, I ask you to leave such details to me. Gumby, you just stay here, and I'll check out Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore? Yeah, the four top presidents of the country are carved in that mountain. I'll find out who they are. When I get back, I'll have the secrets to being a super president. Super president? I don't even want to be president. Now I'm going to need a secretary. Goo, can you take shorthand? No, but I can hold a microphone. Good, then let's go. Uh, this is Mount Rushmore, Goo. Take down the names as I give them to you. Uh, let's see. There's George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. Did you get that, Goo? George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Bear. Well, three out of four isn't bad, Goo. <laughs> Book about George Washington. Very observant of you, Go. <laughs> it's cold and dark, and we're on a nice flow. This is no place to find the President of the United States. Wrong again, Go. This is the Delaware River, and here comes George now, right on time. Uh, George Washington, sir, a friend of mine who's candidate for president needs to know your secret for being a good president. Uh, well, let me see. Well, there's our next man. Let's go, Goo. Sir, are you, uh, are you Mr. Lincoln? Uh, all men are created equal and are endowed uh, by their maker with these inalienable rights, life, liberty, and the, uh, uh let's see, uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, uh, uh, how about the pursuit of happiness? Excellent. The pursuit of happiness. I hope you're not a spy for King George III because what I'm writing here is top secret. The king would shoot me if he found me writing this. Oh, no, sir. I I'm a revolutionary just like you. I just want to ask you what you think is a presidential candidate's best weapon for winning. A uh, president should know that the pen is mightier than the sword or guns. You almost forgot this big stick. Hey, Prickle, what are all these things for? Well, the four best presidents in our history said you'd need these things to be president. Tell Gumby briefly what they said, Goo. George Washington. Cross the river when the enemy least expects you. Abe Lincoln. People vote for me because I can split more rails. 
Thomas Jefferson. The pen is mightier than the sword or guns. And Teddy Roosevelt. Walk softly and carry a big stick. To me, they look more like some props for some comedian in show business. Uh... <laughs>